when you're doing DIY e-juice, you're going to make mistakes. It's really not a big deal, as long as you learn from them. Now here in the United States, in the Northeast, it's December and it is starting to get cold and winter is upon us. So I usually tend to switch over and start doing coffees and bakery goods and things like that to smooth on and transition into the winter. I also like to do a nice fruity summery type drink or something like that when I get the blast to remind me that summer is on the way and I don't have to stick to the humdrum cold wintery savory stuff. So I was working on a juice, a pretty fruity juice with uh, strawberries and bananas and coconut and pineapple and some rum and some other things. So I mixed the juice up and it tasted really funny. It tasted horrible. I let it steep for a week and I tried it again and it tasted horrible. Had this strange little taste. I really didn't taste too much pineapple. So what I figured was it was the rum. So I made another batch. I dropped the rum a little bit and I raised the pineapple a little bit. It was horrible again. So I let it steep again for a week. Disgusting. Really funny. Horrible. I use Flavor Arts fruit flavorings a lot. Uh, they're clean. They don't have all that extra nasty stuff in it. And it usually tastes pretty good. Well, here's my little tip for you guys. That was the culprit. The Flavor Arts Pineapple. It tastes nothing like pineapple at all. Horrible flavor. So I guess just what the lesson is, and the tip is, is when you're first starting out, and you say, oh, well, I'm a big strawberry fan, so I'm going to buy me a big old jug of strawberry flavoring. But just for your own pocketbook and save yourself a lot of headache, at first, stick to these little 10 mil bottles. Try different flavors. Try different companies. Mix and match. Do your testing before you jump up and start getting bigger bottles. Stick with these little 10 mils at first. That way when you like me, you find out that the company that you get stuff from and you find it to be your favorite and they have good flavors, you just might run into one that is absolutely horrible. Now I understand taste is subjective, so some of you might like this pineapple. Me personally, can't stand it. I'll never buy it again. Luckily, it's just a little 10 mil bottle. So I just thought I'd share that little tip that uh, you're going to make mistakes when you're just starting out. You're experimenting. You're trying something new. Mistakes aren't bad. Just try to keep them small mistakes. This is Blind Views. Thanks for watching. And like always, that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.